I look at coaching and, um, you know, it's almost like a football game where you go in out in the first half and maybe you're getting, getting beat pretty badly, but you come in at halftime, you meet with your coach, you make adjustments. And I think that's where Steve has been the biggest help is just making those adjustments, call it pivots, call it adjustments. But you go back in the second half and now you end up winning the game because you made those adjustments and you get kind of moving in the right direction again. You know, it's very easy to say you're going to do it, and but it, to actually do it. Uh, a good example would be the quarterly planning. You know, the fact that we get together every quarter and sit down and map out the next 90 days, that's, that's huge because then you've got your roadmap to, to kind of follow. Even though you may not always hit your goals, the fact that you're, you're putting your goals down and kind of uh, aiming for them gets you moving in the right direction. I have to tell the story that when we first started working with Steve, it was back in, I don't know, 08 or so, and times were hard, and there were times when we just had no money due to the economy and what have you. And we said, boy, this may be the week where we have to let Steve go because we just can't afford it. Then we'd go see Steve and get some great idea, and we say, well, godly, we can't let him go this week because he just <laughs> he just helped us out tremendously, yeah. and it just – it continued to go like that I, even, even to this day now it's not a money issue it's more like hey what are we going to do to to make our business better 